Hey guys, it's Kristen from A Mindful Mom. I like to get into the kitchen and share with you easy, family-friendly recipes that your whole family will love. Today, I'm just gonna walk you through a basic recipe, how to cook spaghetti squash in your Instant Pot. This is an easy, foolproof method for cooking perfect, tender spaghetti squash in your pressure cooker. The advantage to cooking it in your Instant Pot is it's ready in a fraction of the time, which is especially great in the summer when you don't wanna heat up your oven and wait nearly an hour for your spaghetti squash to be cooked perfectly. So let's get started. First, you need to select a spaghetti squash. You want one that's three to four pounds and that feels a little bit heavier than what you would anticipate when you pick it up. That means that it's ripe and ready to go. You also want one that's uniform in color and that's not been bruised much. Now, you can cook your spaghetti squash whole right in your pressure cooker. You would just pierce a few little slits in your spaghetti squash and stick it in your pressure cooker. However, I strongly recommend cutting your spaghetti squash in half and removing the seeds prior to cooking. It's so much easier to remove the seeds from a spaghetti squash before it's been cooked. After it's cooked, it's a little bit messy and you end up losing some of the flesh of the spaghetti squash. So to cut your spaghetti squash, you can do it two ways. You can cut lengthwise or you can cut widthwise, which is what I'm gonna do. I find it's a little bit easier to cut the spaghetti squash in half versus lengthwise. And it also gives me long strands like spaghetti, which is what I love. Once your spaghetti squash has been sliced open, remove the seeds from inside the center of your squash. And then once you've done that, it's time to pressure cook our squash. To do that, you need one cup of water for a six quart Instant Pot. If you were using an eight quart Instant Pot, you would use one and a half cups of water. For a 10 quart Instant Pot, you would use two cups of water. Be sure your water is cold, not warm water. That changes how long it takes for your pressure cooker to come to pressure which changes the overall cook time. So always, always, always start with cold water. And then you wanna put your spaghetti squash inside your pressure cooker. I like to use a rack or a little basket to keep the squash separated from the water. However, if you don't have either one of those, just place your spaghetti squash directly in your pressure cooker. It will be fine. The outside will get a little soggy, but you'll just make sure to lightly dry it off before serving your spaghetti squash. So I'm gonna use the steamer basket. Place that inside my pressure cooker. Great tip is to put your spaghetti squash cut side down in your pressure cooker. This will keep the water from forming and collecting on the inside of your spaghetti squash. Once you've placed your spaghetti squash in your pressure cooker, it's time to cook it. You wanna place your lid on and make sure your vent knob is pointed towards sealed, not the venting position. Then you wanna cook on high pressure for eight minutes for tender squash or seven minutes for more al dente squash, squash that has a little bit of a bite to it. And how you do this is you select manual or pressure cook and adjust for eight minutes. Let the Instant Pot do its thing. Okay, cook time has elapsed. Our spaghetti squash has been cooked inside of our pressure cooker. Now it's time to do a quick release of any remaining pressure. You can certainly let your Instant Pot release pressure naturally completely on its own, or you can release pressure immediately after cook time has elapsed, or you can wait two to five to seven minutes whatever you prefer. To release pressure, you wanna use a long wooden spoon 
and you want to hit your vent knob from the sealed to the venting position. Make sure that you have some open air so that you're not putting all sorts of steam right up to your cabinets. If you have nowhere else to cook, your, use your Instant Pot. Just let pressure release naturally. Okay, our float valve has returned to its normal position. All the steam has been released. We're ready to open our Instant Pot and remove our cooked spaghetti squash. So I like to use just a fork here and some tongs. Sometimes I just use my hands. Then you want to just remove it. Place it on a cutting board. And you can see there that all the strands just come right apart. And this spaghetti squash is perfectly cooked. And you can twirl and make long noodles because of the way that we cut our spaghetti squash. It turns out perfect every time. I hope that you guys enjoy this recipe. Be sure to go to amindfulmom.com for more easy, healthy Instant Pot recipes. Take care, guys.